and if you look at it you can see i have different classes i have students it is actually mvc project okay If you look there, you can see I have different classes. Uh, let's go to the classes. Okay, so these these are the classes. I have students, I have subjects, I have teachers, and then I have levels. I have class scholarship. Okay, so mostly these are just a sketch of the program, and the way it works is this. Since we know that we can have different students, okay. But each of them will have the same details. So we decide to create a class called student. And once we create it, we are going to create properties for those students. So if you look here, I just created a property for the student, an ID. Of course, each student has to be identified with an ID. Okay, so the getter here is the getter and setter here are just doing similar work the getter actually gets the value of this id for whomever that is calling it okay why the setter sets the value of this id for whomever that intends to use it for instance let me go back to the new project i created and show you something i should have made this a console application by the way and here let me add a class Okay, so we have a class and let me call this let's say I call this students class okay. now in using getters and setters is advice you start this way since we have a student and the first thing we are likely going to have about the student class is the ID okay so we can just see so we can just see prop for now if you look here you have prop prop will create something like this i'm pressing tab twice you can see it created something like this this is my method okay in the student class in the uh, school management portal that i'm building but, if you use prop it's going to do something like this but then there are some cases where you may not want to use prop and you may want to use prop so these are these are what you will normally see in windows applications these are the this is the style you will likely see people use so what this thing does is simply it creates a, a variable and here is private and is an integer we we'll call it any name we want let's see it and then here here we are simply creating a public a public method we can call it id also and Okay, so we can call this we can call this set ID. Okay, so and then what like if you can see here, this guy is private and this guy is public. Okay, so what it simply means is that another class that will be assessing this uh, student class cannot directly refer to this guy. Instead, he will simply be calling this person to set the value of this ID and also to get the value of this id for instance let me get to this place and try to refer to that guy who i can see using classes or using using students sorry I'm I use student. okay i'm going to say using windows application one okay and let me 
let me just try to call the student class I created here. Of course, I need to create an instance of it. Okay, student class, uh, student class, go to new student class. Okay, and then if I attempt to access that class, you can see I can only set the ID. Okay. Now, I can only call the method set ID. Now, if I say set ID equal to 1, notice that it's going to set, it's going to set the ID of this student class to be 1. But if I say, if I like declare another variable in I and say I equal to std stc dot set id now notice that it also works so at this point i'm simply using the setter to set the id of the, this class to be whatever that is over here and at this point i'm simply using the getter to get the value of the id of this uh, student's class so this is just basically how this thing works. I don't really think there is much to it. All you just need to focus on is how they're using it. How they're using it. Like whether the person used uh, this one or he used the other method I told you about. The prop. The prop. Prop method. So if I can... Let me make this guy a string. String. Uh, student's name now notice that this guy is a public is a public variable and the, the reason is that since he doesn't have a method that will get and set him we are directly we are directly we are directly creating the method okay on the same line of code hence we have to make it public but this guy has another method that will, that will make him public and accessible to others. So, at this point, you can say we are using a. You can say that we are using a method called encapsulation. 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 Okay. But here. Here we didn't hide the variable. The variable is easily accessible to to any class. Like here, I can see I can see mbox okay mbox std tc dot. You can see the stu you can see that the student name is open for us here to use. By the way, I haven't set any value to it since it's going to throw an error. Okay. So I should say uh, stc dot student name equal to any name at all or student name or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So now you can see how this works. I'm going to run the program. I'm not even sure what it will do, but. I think it's going to do something like that. See if there's an error if you want to know. No, let me see the error. An expression is expected. Okay. So I run the program again and see what happens. You can see it has got to this point and here we try to set the name student and here we try to retrieve it. So what actually happens is that at any point what happens is that at any point in time you have to first of all create a, an instance of the class okay and then here you have to set the, a value for the variable which you created in the other class and at this other point we are getting back the value of that variable so at the point you are setting the va value, we can call that setter or set. 
then at this point you are retrieving the value we can call that getter okay and th that's the same thing we did here only that here we are directly using this method and the method is public to us to use but at this point we are we, we intend to assess a variable called id in the student class a variable called id in the student class but because the variable is private okay we needed another public method with which we can assess it that's why we have this okay so that's why we are calling the set id okay so that is by the way by, by the way if i comment this section and try to run this project again i have not set a value for the student name hence i think it will throw an error i don't know because that value okay it's not it's not hence nothing should up. okay so that is it the other thing else i want you to know is that this these things can be done on any type of data they can be done on any type of data okay so you can this can even be public uh is this of string or something like that Maybe how, how does c sharp even okay i have list of t list of string type is string okay so i have this you can see it so now this guy becomes a list mm -hmm. No longer an ordinary list, so I should have an an, an error message. Here. Uh, okay, so here I can now see std whatever whatever dot at. So now I have something like this. So at this point, if I want to access it now, I should see something like access number zero, and that will take away our error. Cannot be used like a method. Oh, sorry, this is C sharp. Okay, so the error is gone. So this can actually be used on a range of different data types. The user can decide to define his own data types and have them here. Okay, so uh, like I may want to try something like this. I already have a student class. And I may want to create uh, a pro property for it, and then I see students class. Can you see that? Can you see it's coming up? So this kind of thing. So if someone has different different classes here, right here, if someone has different different classes right here, he can decide to create a property for them like this, giving them getters and setters. Well, just remember the only thing you need to focus on is what this getter and setter does is simply the get simply gets the the, the value of this and the set yeah. simply sets a value for this okay yeah. uh, i think that's yeah. all so it's expected whatever what is he expecting here what is he expecting here yeah. uh, yeah. What's he expecting here? Okay. What's he expecting? He's expecting a bracket. Well, that's wrong. Okay, probably he's saying that this guy shouldn't be inside this place. So we've taken that guy out and the whole problem is solved. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.